Anakidung Rumak saing wengi Tegah ayu luputain lara Luputain bilai kabe The history of a society's development is always colored by conflicts in the struggle for power. The more enhanced the fighting forces, the more enhanced their skills in war will be. Among the items originating from the Bronze Era, various kinds of sharp objects resembling daggers were found and described as having two functions, as a practical tool and as a ritual medium. Possibly, these functions formed the initial inspiration for making a kris. The origin of the kris can be found in the time when metal became the material of choice for trust weapons. Then we find a gap in the historical development of truss weapons of the Bronze Era, up until the later Chris. This is due to the fact that the iron material is found only in a later time. During this time, the traditional method of casting iron altered to the modern technique of fold forging. However, the design remains that of a technomic weapon, a weapon originally designed for close combat fighting. A straight bladed kris, a kris with waves, as well as a brojokuno kris are all designed to be used as effective weapons. For instance, the brojokuno kris is made to be able to step through protective armor. The change of function of the kris is influenced by the king's reign of power. The kris became an item of social technical importance as well as a symbol of social status. The social-political situation required the kris as a symbol for power. The Ampu was considered a person with magical powers acquired through spiritual practice. The kris must be made to become a potent weapon. The Ampu will receive an order to make a Chris. In the beginning stage of making a kris, the ampu will prepare the iron material, steel and meteorite. 
The Ampu will then contemplate on the design of the Chris he is about to make, so that the Chris will correspond with that what has been requested. Now, the Ampu will calculate an auspicious date for making the Chris. After the auspicious date is determined, the Ampu will prepare the ritual offerings and request blessings from the forces of nature as represented by Yang Tunga. The regular offerings are prepared according to ancient tradition going back many generations. These offerings consist of tumpang or a cone of rice, rice porridge, chicken dishes, pieces of fried liver, tobacco, beetle leaf, chalk, black tea, an oil pit lamp, and burning incense. Wetengku sang lemah mendak, susuku sang gunung kembar, pentilku sang asri kembar, wangkungku sang pacul tugel, siletku telenge landak, kepungku telogo membeng, plananganku wajo gligen, bawukku wajo binandung, pringsilanku wajo malelo, uyuhku banyu pancuran, sukerku padas cecuri, entutku mercu dadari, Iduku parang teritis, riakku pulut bendolo, wentesku lemah bajangan, dlamaanku lemah seto, paturanku lemah bleberan, tindakku lindu prahoro, geter pater panebaku, awedi kang buto kabeh, sawedono durgo kolo, sawedono kerti doro, tumurum ing sun madyo, wawar ing madewoto mudo. Ajiku sang toto ati, amah rojo toto wuwusku, amah rojo noto ajiku, pangerane brojo ngadek ono tengah yang meripat. Kang mengku sedoyo wesi aji, iyo iku guru sejati, teguh rahayu selamat, soko karsolan panguasa rikusti kang kopeng kuat. In his preparations, the Umpu has decided on his selection to make a kris with a plunter or twisted pamar, a technique to produce the largangser pamar, a pamar that has cricket wing patterns on it as a sign for abundance in the coming harvest.
palu yang jatuh ibarat benda angkasa menimpa paron besi paron itu ibarat bumi ibarat bayi lahir meraih-raih angkasa kakinya menendang ingin mejak bumi meteor di angkasa disatukan dengan besi bumi dipahami sebagai perlambang manunggaling kawulau gusti ini falsafah jawa after the kodakan has been made the tuguran or ritual to proceed without sleep is performed whilst the kodakan is placed in open air thereby allowing it to absorb the energy of the moon and the stars in order to empower the kodakan Mutual elimination and mutual emissive power. All that is created is the creation of God. Man is merely an intermediary. Then, the Empu, together with his Panjak, neighbors and fellow Empus, stay up until dawn, provided with snacks and drinks. The crest that will be made has now been shaped. From here, the Ampu proceeds to the final stage of hardening the hot iron. The crest is heated until smoldering and then dipped into the bamboo tube. This requires a bamboo tube filled with coconut oil while at the same time ordinary sasachi offerings are served like a small tumpang, three kinds of flowers and some small chains of money for the spirit so they can purchase some snacks along their way. Incense is burned and mantras are uttered repeatedly. Then there is also a method of burning the kris again and the sapu dilat is then performed, where the smoldering tip of the kris is licked by the ampu. In the sapu dilat ritual, the smoldering tip of the kris is licked seven times, based on the diagram of the human chandra, which states that the human body consists of seven physical core elements. In the Kajawan Sastro Hajandro, these are called the Sapto Argo, which refer to the hair, skin, flesh, veins, blood, bone and marrow. Each of these Sapto Argo will then be ritually cleansed. In Javanese, the Sapudilat is called Nganjing Akan Doyo, or Nailing the Yoni. In the spiritual review of the Chris's hardening process, it turns out that the accentuation emerges precisely at the moment of the ritual performance as a way of worship to Yang Gusti and to ask for permission to the guardians at certain regions of the universe. Therefore, the Rumoyo ballad is sung.
The Chris is completed with a scabbard and then brought to a marangi. The marangi is an artisan skilled in the making of a waranka. The wood is prepared and carved according instructions handed down from generation to generation. The cover of the waranka is attributed with a pendo. Though this serves as decoration, yet in the old days this metal part also served as a protective shield to ward off attacks. As a decorative part, it is full of artistic splendor, such as a cover made from gold or silver and carved with all kinds of patterns. Often it is also studded with diamonds. The waranka then becomes stunningly beautiful. Then the shaping of the chris is finished. And after it underwent the rituals, it is then soaked into still coconut water so that the remaining iron scales will fall off. Usually it is left soaking for one night so that the chris radiance becomes bright and a beautiful palmer motif emerges. After that, the chris is cleansed using lime water until it becomes white. And lastly, it is dipped in warangan liquid so that the palmer patterns become clearly visible.
Syifat iman Wa mantu biyai Tegesipun pracoyo ing Allah Ing pangeran sejati Yo pangeran kan agung kan hakaryo umilan langit angganjar lawan ikso mering manuso sagung. Langgeng tur murbo wiseso Moho suci Anak mas, dari mana kamu? Habis jalan-jalan Romo Romo, apa betul keris ini ada tua her? Oh, ada Karena pembuatan keris ini dari sangku dulu Jadi mantra-mantra yang hebat sehingga keris itu ada tuahnya mantra dunia lahir dari olah proso dalam proses spiritualnya manusia setiap kelompok manusia atau suku bangsa sejak zaman dahulu kala memiliki mantra tersendiri termasuk orang Jawa mantra diucapkan berulang-ulang bahkan sudah dari abad-abad sehingga seolah terjadi sebuah bagian dengan alam semesta maka dari itu mantra memiliki kekuatan yang dahsyat kalau kata orang Romo jika punya keris dapur jalan penunggunya itu harus diberi minyak rambut dan jika punya keris dapur carito Penunggu Kris itu sendiri harus ditemani kelangenannya Yaitu burung gelatik Apa betul itu? Wah, betul Nah, kalau punya Kris pamonya Ron Kedu Harus menyandeng istri muda <laughs> To have a Kris that features a Ron Kenduru pamor button Is said to bear meaning that the owner ought to have a younger or a second wife. The offerings and rituals form an inherent part of the Javanese religious system, and as such, they are a means to communicate with God, as an acknowledgement that everything that is, is due to the grace of God, the Creator. Here we face a belief that passes beyond the conventional comprehension of the Chris. Ibrahim Sapuloh kita. The Chris and its function in society are in many ways similar to the general understanding of the megalithic period, the worship of nature and reverence of ancestral spirits. Several ancient scriptures mention the societal aspects of the Chris. Although there were many religious practitioners in society, most of them seem to have followed the Kajawan tradition. Though it is difficult to estimate the era in which this took place, yet we can confirm the close relation between old beliefs and the Sastro Hajandro Yuningrat Pangruwateng Dio teachings. Sastro means sacred text or teaching. Ajandro comes from the word jandra, 
the god Indra, or god as the manifestation of universe and life. Yu means Rahayu, which stands for peace and harmony. Ingrat means in the world or inside the human body. Pangruwat means to treat, to tend, or to constructively change. Diyu means giant, insolent, bad character, and barbarity. In the book Batal Jamur Adam Magno, the Sastro Hajandro is called Mustikaneng Kauro Inkang Kuwaso Armatani Ing Karahayon Karahajan Katantraman Lansak Pang Nunggilipun Mamayu Hayuneng Bawono, which means the jewel of divine knowledge as a guide towards salvation, prosperity, and serenity in one's personal life and for the harmony in the world. The Sastro Hajendro teaching is considered to be much older, for it might even be the earliest teaching since the birth of the human intellect. In a long period of time, this knowledge then splintered into fragments. This happened because it was too difficult to master this multidimensional knowledge. Beside the difficulties in the spiritual quest for the essence of life, there is also another part in the teaching that tells man how to accomplish the highest goal in this worldly life too. This is explained in various teachings like in the Joyo Kavijayan and the Kamuyan, which are the great teachings and the noble teaching. Then there are also the Kanuragan or Kadikdayan teachings, which are martial arts teachings. The Joyo Kavijayan and Kamuyan teachings are spiritual teachings aimed at the realization of glory and honor in life. Whereas the Kanuragan teachings are martial art teachings so as to be able to learn how to defend oneself, to become a great leader and to master spiritual powers such as invulnerability and invisibility. These teachings were practiced by the ancient rulers of Java and are still practiced today by the Ampus. Doso Muko is a red-colored aura like in the fire element, symbolizing desire of anger and greed. Kumbo Karno is a black-colored aura of the earth element, symbolizing loyalty. Sarpo Kanoko is a yellow-colored aura, symbolizing worldly desires. Kunawan Wibisono is a white-colored aura, symbolizing a wise and religious attitude. These four Wayang characters resemble the concept of Howo Patang Prakoro, or the four objects of desire, which have always been a prominent teaching in the Javanese belief system. The first Palmer motif features lines flaring upwards like the characteristics of blazes of fire or Agni, representing the fire element as in the character of Doso Muko. The second motif, the plain palmer pattern, depicts Bantolo, or the earth, representing the earth element as a symbol of loyalty and tranquility, as in the character of Kumbo Karno. The third motif, a twisting and twirling palmer pattern, symbolizing Tirto, or water, representing the water element, as in the character of Sarpo Kanoko. The fourth palmer motif features straight lines like in the structure of palm leaves, representing the wind element symbolized by an attribute of the power of Bayu, a broom that sweeps away disaster, as in the character of Vibisono. The fifth palmer motif features tattoo lines as a result of the Umpu's exalted state of mind in which he consecrated the Chris. This making process caused a change in the perception on the Chris as a trust weapon to a social technical item. A 
as can be seen in the Kirap Suro ceremony held in Surakarta every first Suro of the Japanese calendar. The moral values behind the first Suro Parade are salvation, blessing, divinity, prosperity, and mutual help and support. The ceremonial parade on the first Suro is considered an auspicious opportunity for acquiring serenity, prosperity, blessings, and a way of pleading the Supreme God for deliverance from peril. A kris made by Nyai Sombro can provide aid in the process of childbirth. It is further believed to have supernatural powers which can help solve all kinds of problems. Nyai Sombro was a female Ampu who lived in the Pajajaran era. A sombro kris usually is preferred by doctors. The Kanjan Kyai Chetak spear is a heirloom of the descendants of the royal family of Pako Buono the Ninth. As the name already suggests, the tip of the blade represents a tongue. In Javanese, Chetak means palate or the roof of the mouth cavity. In the old days, when a child suffered an injury, the parents would treat the wound with saliva taken from their pellet. In the Sastro Hajendro teaching, this saliva is called Jatu Sati and contains residual lubricant mucus fluid that has remained there since childbirth. Jatu Sati is believed to have magical powers as mentioned in the Wayang story of Nyawoto Kawocho in which a giant threatens to disturb the serenity of the gods. Nervoto Kawocho initially was an invulnerable giant, yet he was eventually beaten by Arjuna's arrow, which pierced through his palate whilst he was laughing with his mouth wide open. From this understanding, it thus becomes clear that the Kanjin Kyai Chetak spear is most suitable for supernatural healers doctors and assertive leaders in order for their words to become sabdo dadi, which means once their words are spoken they will materialize. The Kanjan Kyai Kudus is a Kamadikan or contemporary kris made with the design of three animals that are a representation of the greatness of the three realms, Trihita Karana, sky, land and sea, which are always in balance and harmony. This serves as a source of inspiration for man to always be far from quarrel and protected from natural disasters and etc. <laughs> Luputain pilai kape Jin setan datan purun Haneluan tanong taan wani Miwah panggawiolo Ku naning